just bringing that started. So to start us off today, uh, we'll put that out there. Can you describe your own situations vis-a-vis uh, -vis the remote working? So with, I know what it's like being for myself at Skyroda, but what has it been like for yourself with universities and various companies and spaceports? Um, well, for the spaceport down here in Cornwall, we've kind of got, went from full on traveling around back and forth to the States a lot, conferences. Um, you know, my last conference was Paris um, Space Week, which was about a week before we really started going into lockdown. So we kind of went from full on travel mode um, to having to adapt quite quickly to using things like this, um, especially because our main client is, is Virgin over in Mojave. So we've had to adapt really quickly to that. Um, but we're all working from home and um, yeah, all have kids, which is always entertaining when you're trying to talk about launching rockets and the next minute your four-year-old's running in and out. <laughs> so it's been an interesting experience for our team, but it, it's, it, you know, it's, it's settled down now and, and we're all kind of in it, doing well. It's, uh, it's similar for us here at the University of Edinburgh. So um, my role was very similar to yourself, Melissa. Lots of traveling, lots of meeting people, and then suddenly it's everything's online. So from one perspective, you're much more accessible and you can meet with people you probably wouldn't think to meet with just because it's easy and remote. From the other point, uh, we are really, really busy and uh, there's lots of really exciting stuff happening. So it's been kind of a, a good opportunity, but also um, it, it's, it's quite hard to distinguish between when the working day ends and your normal life begins. <laughs> So I don't have kids, thankfully, but but I because um, I think I just could manage everything. But yeah, it's, it's quite hard to kind of switch off from one, switch to the other one. Yes, it definitely blurs the day, doesn't it? It nice. spreads it out. Um, certainly, we've we've found uh, with Skyroar having a certain amount of IT heritage, um, we we began with remote working before we had the offices and the workshops. So it's um, it, it does feel quite familiar territory in that respect, but. Uh, Obviously not, not for so long and uh, not with schools off at the same time. And what about Thor and your, obviously you are more based in Europe. Uh, Thor, you spend your time between Iceland and the Czech Republic and yours, if I believe correctly, is Germany. Has there been much of a difference for yourself? So what, what's the situation been for yourself with regards to home working? So I think the main difference for us is uh, the sort of lack of choice that we are starting to feel. Uh, we've always been a remote organization. So Space Iceland is, is run by a political consultancy company that works all over. So it's always been the situation that we have a physical office, but we are sort of quite used to being in different locations and working all over. But what we've always had as well is the sort of choice of going to the office or 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 traveling between countries and people come over to the Czech Republic or we work in Reykjavik. And I think that was the, the most difficult thing for us to adapt to. This sort of like people are kind of stuck at their, in their home because our office is in no way large enough to fulfill the, the health um, authorities' obligations on, on, on distancing. But generally it's been good for us. It's been an absolutely crazy time for us uh, so we've been uh, busier than ever uh, and I think what has been the largest benefit is that uh, usually our our clients or the people we work with have not been too comfortable with remote working and we've found that that is culturally much easier now so generally it's been a good experience but I think our team is looking forward to being able to meet in person again. So yeah, um, on, on my side, I have to say, um, for me personally, it's not so much of a change, except for uh, um, I do usually travel a lot, more than half a year. So I kind of handy at 80, 190 days a year, and we are both. So that is of course not happening now. But with regards to uh, teleconferencing, home office, and these type of things, um, I personally started working, uh, kind of doing home office stuff uh, around 92, 91, 92. So uh, in, the, in the community, I was one of the first people doing this. And um, so for me, not a big change, although I have to admit that when I, you know, as a young engineer in the late 80s, I, we could not even imagine email. 
right? <laughs> and then we could not imagine a portable computer. So I started bringing home the computer and staying home for a couple of days already in the early 90s. And then, of course, we got used to all this and we started using teleconferencing um, early in the process, uh, which I thought was for 10 plus years a nightmare, a total nightmare. My right? technology and uh, the habits and uh, the, uh, the fact that people are totally not used to it, right? So what has changed? Um, so I, I personally have to say, uh, particular with some of these uh, tools like Zoom and others, where you can also for particular um, uh, meetings, you can use breakout groups and rooms and these type of things. So it helps. Uh, and we have done a couple of things. So I run the New Space Elective with the International Space University, where we have room teamwork and that kind of stuff. And, and, and we do stuff with companies in the same way. That works fairly good. Um, but, and it does much better than it did in the past help to kind of compensate for travel you cannot do, but it is by far not uh, a substitution for the physical meetings, right? And I think that is where, for us, it's sort of okay, it's still a bit difficult, but uh, for many people, uh, quite a, a big, big change, getting used to this, right? So, and in my business, we have, you know, I've been doing business with more than 60 countries, so, and we are usually involved with, around the globe, so nowadays, I find myself in 24-7 video conference calls around the planet, right? Mm -hmm. So fortunately, we had good weather, so I just crashed sometimes in the garden in the afternoon, you know, because I was up at four in the morning, you know, these kind of things. No, I, I think it is doable, but I see, uh, and I'm really amazed how some people, we're working with agencies as well, have quickly adopted to this. That's very interesting to see. Although some people I, I see, I will not mention any names, I see also some people struggling, struggling with the kind of the new way of communication.